Hi everyone, welcome to our next video for Primary Language with Mrs. Branch. Today we're going to do the next set of sounds. We have F, A, and G. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We first are going to get all of our materials that we need for this lesson. So first we're going to need our sandpaper glue letters. And from your pack, you just get out those letters. F, A, and G. You're also going to need your pencil, your journal, and from your packet, you'll need the handwriting pages that go with those letters. So our B page, our O page, our F page, and on the back of the F page is the G page. So I'm going to go ahead and let you put me on pause and you go get your materials, press play when you come back. Thank you for putting me on play. I'm just going to move these materials right out of the way so we can get right into our sight words. So we're on our fourth and fifth sight words. We've already done three so far. So for this part, I want you to get out your journal and your pencil. Open it to the next page that you're going to use to write your words. And remember, I'm going to do mine on the marker board so you can see my lines. I'm going to find the words that we're going to do today. So the very first word we did, we all know it by now, it's the word the. We also talked about the word I and how it's capital. We talked about the word a. The two words that we're going to do today both start with a. The first one is the word at. At. I am at home. You are at home too. The word am. I am so happy we are still learning together at home. Am. So let me pull up my chair and let's start writing our words. And you can write along with me if you want. If this video or any of the videos ever go too quickly, Remember, you can always, always, always press pause, find the pause button if you need some more time. If this goes by way too fast and you just need to take a minute so that you can finish your work, or if you need a little break, just press pause and come, play, come push play whenever you're ready. So the first word we're going to talk about is the word the. And remember, my bottom line right here is the ground. The dotted line in the middle, those are the mountains. And the line at the top, I call that the sky. So for the word the, we go from the ground up to the sky, back to the ground, loop-de-loop, -loop, down to the mountains, and then E goes to the mountains, lift up and then cross. The word the. Let's write the word the twice today. Let's just do two times of the word the. Cross your teeth. And then next to it, let's write that word I in cursive. And remember, I is a backwards karate chop down to the ground. Big loop-de-loop. -loop. And out. Let's do another one. You start on the mountains for I. Back, down, up, and around. And then um, on my next line down here, I'm going to write the word A twice. And I'm going to do it just like we traced the letter. Start on the ground and go to the mountains. Up and stop. Down, around, and out. A. Up and stop. Down, around, and out. A. So then I want to look at my word am. And of course this one's in print, so we're going to make it in cursive. And those are two of the sounds that we've already traced a whole bunch, and we know those. So this might be pretty easy. So we're going to start, I'm going to start down here. So starting on the ground, go to the mountains, up and stop, down, around, and out. 
and then roll that line right into your mm, down, bump, bump, out. And that's the word am. Let's do another one. Up then stop, down and around, down, bump, 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 am. Up and stop, down and around, bump, 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 am. I am happy we are writing together today. It's our fifth word, at. I am at home. At. We're gonna start again on the ground. Go to the mount. Uh, go to the mountains, and then our T is gonna go all the way up to the sky. It's gonna look like this: up and stop, down and around, down all the way up, and down, and then at the end I'll cross my T. At. Up and stop, down and around, all the way up and down. At. Up and stop, down and around. All the way up, out, at. Let's do one more at. Up and stop, down and around, all the way up, out, at. So we wrote the word the two times. We wrote the word I two times. We wrote the word a two times. And then we wrote a whole bunch of ams and ats. So go ahead and get your journal. If you haven't written this already, feel free to pause the video and come back as soon as you're done writing these words in your journal. So by now we've all written our words in our journal. And now it's quiz time. So I'm going to hold up the words and I would like you to say them with me. Here we go. A. I. The at am a I the at am. I'm going to do one more time. And I know if you're watching this video by yourself or in your house, it might seem funny to be talking to a video, but it's really important for your brain if you will go ahead and say it along with me. And if anyone looks at you, just say, I'm practicing my sign words. So go ahead and say them with me this time. And if you've been saying them, thank you very much. Let's keep going. Am. At. The. I. A. Am. At. The. I. A. Good job, everybody. Okay, so now we're done with our sight words. Let's go ahead and move right into our lesson. So for this part, go ahead and get out your sandpaper letters, your E, your F, your O, your G. And for this one today, I'm going to come really close to the camera so that you can see how I trace them. And the first thing we always do before we trace, we got to get our fingers ready. So go ahead and rub, 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 just for a little bit till you start to feel your fingers get really sensitive. And when your fingers are ready, let's go ahead and look at this one first. But. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to go in front of this loop and then down. Sometimes our finger doesn't want to cross over, but whenever there's a loop to loop, we always have to cross in front. So in front, behind, karate chop. Buh. And the way that B sounds is not buh, it's buh, buh. Can you say that sound? Buh, buh. I want you to watch how I do F because F has not one but two loop-de-loops. 
and the loop-de-loop -loop in the top crosses in front and then the one at the bottom is a little different. So watch how I trace this one. And remember, however we trace our, our letters on our sandpaper letters is exactly how we're going to move our pencil or pen to write those same letters. So as long as you're practicing the correct formation, you're going to be making your letters the same way too, because we're telling our brain, this is how this letter is. So we're going to start on this tail right here. In front, behind, straight down, in front, out. In front, straight down. In front, behind, straight down, in front, out. Front, behind, straight down, out. Let's look at our O. The O makes a sound just like if you were at the doctor's hospital and they needed to see inside your mouth and they stick a tongue depressor in your mouth and they say, say ah. Ah, uh, this is what this sound makes. Ah, uh, the way you do this is a cir is just a circle. So start right here, round over, out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. G, G is a really cool sound. If you put your hand on your throat and you say the sound, you're gonna feel a lot of vibration in your throat, it's a deep sound. So everyone put your hand on your throat and say this. G, 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 G. Can you feel that deep vibration? When we make the letter formation, I want you to notice that the top looks a lot like the beginning of an A, of an A. So right here we're gonna go up and stop, down and round, and then we're gonna go all the way down in front and loop out. G. So here we go. Up and stop, down and round, straight down, out, G. Up and stop, down and round, straight down, out, G. Up and stop, down and round, straight down and out, go. So now that we have those letters, I would like you to do that so you can put me on pause and trace each of your sounds three times and then press play when you're done tracing and come back. Okay, now that we've traced all of them, Okay, so since you've traced your letters and you are ready to do your handwriting sheets, your B sheet, your F sheet, your O sheet, and your G sheet, you can either pause the video and finish those or you can do them after the video. It's up to you. This is really good practice to help build your muscles and to practice writing the sounds and the words that go with the sounds. So now it's time for us to get out the sound bag. Oh, let's see what it has today. Ooh. Glue. Glue. Does glue start with B, F, A, or G? Glue starts with G. Starts with B. Glass. Glass. Does glass start with B, F, A, or G? Glass starts with G. Basketball. Basketball. Does basketball start with B, F, A, or G? 
Basketball starts with B. It wants to roll away. <laughs> Football. Football. Does football start with a, a, or g? Football starts with f. What else is in here? Hmm. Guitar. G, guitar. Does guitar start with a? A or G. Guitar starts with G. I'm going to turn that just a little bit. There's a lot of G sounds. What else is in here? Um, yep, I know what this is. So the sound A, it's kind of hard to find around your house. O sometimes makes different sounds depending on the word. So one word that I found is onion, but in the word onion, the O sounds more like a U. Uh, onion. So I wanted to try to find something that has the authentic O sound, ah. And I don't have one of these in my house, but I have a picture. An octopus, ah, octopus, octopus. Starts with O. Now I'm going to lift you up so you can see. This is our sound sort for today. So your challenge tonight, or for today, when you finish tracing your sandpaper letters, finish writing your sight words in your book, in your journal, and you finish your handwriting sheets, if you want to do the challenge, the challenge today is to look around your house and to find objects that start with B, F, A, and G. Remember, the challenge is optional. You don't have to do it. It's just if you want to. Anything that you get out, make sure you put back exactly where it came from. This was a really fun lesson, and it was good to see you all. We'll see you tomorrow for our next video. Bye!